And now, it's time for Phonemic Awareness Woo! with Miss Croninger! Hello everybody, glad to be back. Um, I decided to do another video with the letter sounds because um, since I posted the other video that I did on Dojo, um, I know if kids are doing that every day, they may have memorized the order that the letters are going in. So I decided to do another one where I have mixed up the cards and they're in different order. And I may do a couple more of these just so we can keep those kiddos on their toes. So um, I'm going to go through these. I'm going to show you two activities that I do with these. So the first one is like the one before where we say the sound um, for each letter card. Then I'm going to put the cards away. I'm going to say the sound and we're going to write those letters in the air with our finger. So um, to start with, hopefully you can see these okay. Here we go. We're going to do our letter sounds. Mm. Eh. Ah. Wool. J. Ah. D. G. We're back to the beginning. Uh, <clears throat> so, excuse me. I've been doing a lot of videos today. Okay, so um, this is a great activity because we're moving through these letters quickly and so they have to see the letter and recognize the sound really, really fast. Um, the other thing that we like to do is I will turn the cards where you cannot see the letters and I will say the sounds and you will, with me, write the letters in the air. So I am using uh, my right hand and hopefully that will mirror um, for you guys correctly. I'm not sure how this works with the cell phone, but um, make sure that your child uses the hand that they write with to form the letters and we're using our index or pointer finger when we do this. Okay, so I say the sound, then we'll say the letter and the sound together. Okay, R, R says R. Mm. M says mmm. If you notice, we're only writing lowercase letters. I. I says I. Ah. O says ah. Ool. L says ool. Ah. A says ah. G. G says G. H says H. Okay. Now, I don't go through the entire alphabet like that every day, but we do quite a few letters each day. Um, this allows us to do letter recognition, letter sounds, and handwriting. Um, make sure with the handwriting aspect of it that your child is always forming the letter correctly from the top. Almost every letter, except for lowercase e, is going to start at the top. And that's very important for the future when they are learning to write in cursive. So we want them to get that um, correct here in kindergarten. Um, there are a few other things that you could do with this. Um, at school, we use sand a lot. We'll write the letters in the sand. So we'll do what we just did where I'll say the sound, I won't show them the card, and they have to write the letter in the sound, in the sand, sorry, and they say H says huh. And then I show them the card to remind them of the correct way to draw the H, that it starts up here in the attic, and this is using our house paper that we've used for months now, okay? Starts in the attic or at the roof, it comes all the way down to the floor, comes back up to the ceiling with a curvy line all the way back down to the floor. So getting that letter formation is very important. Um, we have also used um, shaving cream on the table. Let them write with their pointer finger in the shaving cream. Um, if you don't have any of that at your house right now, maybe some sugar in like a colored plastic or a paper plate 
works really well also. Um, I have also used rice for this before. So anything like that that you could write in um, would be great or even just getting to use, you know, really cool markers um, is fun and makes a big difference. So let me know if you have any questions or concerns, if there's anything I can help you with. And um, I look forward to seeing you again. I miss you. I miss you a lot. I miss you so much. Um, so until next time, bye.